Again, I have a resources link in this video description. Um, this is the previous video I did here on YouTube. And so, you know, if you come down here, right click on it, um, you know, your browser will have some sort of save link or um, store link or whatever, save link, download link, something like that. Then you can download it. Okay. Uh, this this uh, resource pack is the same as uh, the previous video. Uh, so anyway, I'm, I've already done that. So I'm going to open it up, and we're going to start with the uh, the lip sync and the the audio. Um, you'll see that in this resource pack, I have a black mouth and a white mouth. So depending on how your character skin is colored you may want one or the other. But um, I suspect most people will want uh, the black mouth shape. So all I have to do there is right click, copy, come into the template, paste, and now you have that in your library. All right, so I'm gonna double click on that and uh, you'll see this very basic mouth shape and if we uh, scrub over it or play it, those are the, the six different mouth shapes that we need. I'm gonna highlight all those frames, right click, and um, I need to copy those frames, copy frames. There it is. Okay. Uh, now we're gonna start with the uh, girl character. So I'm gonna double click on that. Um, I'm going to create one layer up here in the timeline for those mouth shapes and one layer for the audio. And then I'm going to make sure that those are the top two layers here. Uh, I'm going to call this one the audio one. This one, mouth shapes. On the mouth shapes one then, I will paste the right click and paste frames. It's down down here a ways in the contextual menu. Uh, but you'll see that that will paste that into the character. Um, only issue now is that uh, of all these shapes, uh, it's not actually on the character's face. Uh, before we get to readjusting that though, let's talk about uh, the shapes themselves. Um, they're, they're labeled alphabetically and uh, they're referred to this way in uh, animation. So the A shape is the closed mouth shape. The B and C shapes then are the, the two shapes that you go between the most when you're constructing syllables. Um, C being a little bit wider open than B. The D shape is sort of an exclamation shape. It's the loudest, uh, most open mouth. And uh, skipping to the end, we have the O shape is F. And uh, the, the E shape is somewhere between F and, uh, you know, C or D. Okay, so those are the six shapes, and um, we will get to those in a second. But uh, let's let's start with um, putting these shapes where they need to be in the actual character. You see, we have some issues as far as size and placement. So if I uh, grab this shape and dr drag it down, do a Q to get my free transform tool. Uh, use the arrows to kind of arrow it into place. Uh, change to Z. Again, use Q. Again, use the arrows. Okay, and um, then if I switch to the body layer and delete that mouth shape. Let me see here. I want to lock that so I don't accidentally move it. There. 
Okay, you can you can tell first of all it changes the appearance of my character in, in a way. But uh, that's okay. This is just a tutorial. Don't have to be perfect about it. And you can change these mouth shapes uh, however you'd like to later on. Um, but if we uh, highlight that shape now, the mouth shape, have to unlock this layer first. Uh, you'll see that uh, in the properties window, this is the position that it went to. And this is the size that I shrunk it to. Uh, what I'm going to recommend, first of all, make sure that your width and height are linked. Here, they need to be linked up. Uh, round it to the nearest integer, nearest non-digit uh, number, non-decimal um, number. Um, so that's going to be 19 here. Uh, it's going to be 72 here and 72 here as well. Okay. Um, so, so what that allows then is that we'll go to the next shape. Um, there it is. It's kind of weird that can't see them. Um, okay, we'll go to the next shape. Command A to select all. Um, 72, 72, and I think I said 19. There we go. B, Command A to select all. 72, 72, 19. So figure out where that, that shape, that first shape is going to be placed on your character and then go ahead and place the rest of the shapes in the exact same position using the uh, properties dialog and that's going to be your fastest way to do it I, I included this resource pack to save you some time in creating the shape but uh, you are going to have to reposition the shapes to be but you need them to be in this way. Just a couple more to go here. And that one I'm just going to copy over. Okay. So now that, that looks good. Um, next we need to grab the audio so I created this audio layer I'm going to just throw that dialog in there um, just drag and drop and you'll see then the waveform appears in that layer okay now we're all ready to animate and uh, we'll do that in the next video